One of my subscribers had actually asked me, how do you change a 72 pin? So I'm going to kind of go through that. I didn't see another video up on it. And um, here we go. You got to remove the screws that are in the bottom. That's obvious. I'm sure you can find them. And then there are screws on the inside, which is really simple. Here, 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 all on the metal cord. Once you remove these suckers, now you want to take and plug the power cord. Ground yourself. I know it's not a big, uh, superb piece of machinery, but just in case you get a little static electricity in there. Now, the thing that you have to be careful about when you're changing your 72 pin, come on in here, let me show you. Step on in, son. The thing that you got to be careful about when you're changing your 72 pin are the springs. Uh, you don't want to lose them because they will pop out. You got to take off the toaster part first. That's step one. You have all of the screws uh, off. The 72 pin process. It's just a matter of taking the toaster part off like this. Now, as I said, you got to be careful of the springs, but this is the toaster part. Your 72 pin connects down on your board thusly. So you got to take all these screws here out so that your board is kind of free um, from underneath. Then once you do that, you can just lift it up and it slides right off the board, kind of like a cart. Now it feels tight, it feels tight, but it's it'll come off, don't worry about it. Now you don't want to muscle it there, tough guy. All right, you got to be gentle, but it will come off. Thusly. So, now this is actually an older 72 pin. I'm going to put it in and see what happens anyway. Um, put it back on. Thusly. Set your money board back in there. These snapper heads uh, like the top loader, and it's kind of popular among collectors. The reason why I'm not going for a top loader uh, that they remade is because of two reasons. One, um, collectors have driven up the price for that god off piece of crap. Um, two is because it actually doesn't have the same uh, output as the regular Nintendo for some reason when they did it. Um, and that's kind of boring, you just watching a freaking screen and listen to my yammering voice. So, as you can see, I'm going to slap in the cart, and this is kind of free in there, and that's what you don't want. It'll fire up every time. And as you can see, I hit the button. It's certainly fired up, no matter how many times you take the game out or put it back in. It'll fire up. Now you see those lines? Uh, that's not the the pin. That's a, my ass asinine system I got uh, with my VCR and everything. Yeah, so that was kind of pointless. So that's the 72 pin. That's really the process of changing it. Till next time. Better than three. Where do you find Clancy?